This court has addressed this matter before, albeit in a different context, in case after case after case. It has always defended that high wall of the separation of powers. Attorney General Andy Bashir went through a list of state laws and past court decisions. He says they prove Governor Matt Bevin cannot withhold funds the state legislature has appropriated. These same prohibitions are found in the budget law, which starts with a mandate. What is that mandate? That the executive branch shall carry out appropriations. Bevin withheld a part of the university's quarterly allocations in April, part of widespread cuts to find money for the state's underfunded pension system. His attorney, Steve Pitt, had his own state law to cite. What does 48620 say? It says allotments shall be made as provided by the allotment schedule and may be revised. Pitt says that law allows the governor to lower quarterly payments but not raise them. Some justices were skeptical about the limits of that power. What if the governor had exercised this revision to the tune of 10 or 20 or 40 or 50 percent and then the universities couldn't turn on the lights or the, the, start Well, that, if the reductions are so much that it would affect the, the core reason for that uh, uh, appropriation being made, then certainly the courts can step in. Now, the justices did not make a decision today. There's no timeline on when a decision will come. In Frankfurt, Mark Vanderoff, WLKY News. In May, a Franklin Circuit Court judge sided with Governor Bevin in this case. Bashir appealed, and both sides agreed to take the unusual step of skipping the Court of Appeals and going directly to Kentucky Supreme Court. The money is being held in a trust until the courts issue a final decision.